Good morning, folks. We're seeing that large group of plasma filaments that did have some eruptive activity earlier in the week, but it is as the phoenix heading over the northwestern limb. We do have some features of note incoming at the eastern limb as well. Still got a couple of days before those get to earth-facing positions. We do have space weather to discuss anyway, solid news stories, typhoon footage coming out of Taiwan, and a look at our top weather alerts around the globe. But we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a quiet last day on our star. No eruptions, but there is a bit of flashing as some small solar flare activity is coming back. We're finally getting some sunspot activity back on the disk. All at the left side, one more just cresting this morning. But the real space weather story right now is in the solar wind. That first rise in yellow we saw yesterday, but the speed ramped up further as the sector boundary gave way to faster particle streams of the coronal hole, and they drove geomagnetic storms for a few hours later in the day yesterday. I don't expect much more from this, and certainly nothing more extreme. This is the coronal hole responsible, so you can tell a backside stream will be present with the trailing side as well. We've expected an earthquake uptick with this, but thus far it's just been the rare locations rather than high magnitude. 4.5 in Nevada, and an uptick surrounding South America. Everything shook in Taiwan yesterday, but it had nothing to do with an earthquake. Cleanup is in its infancy after a super typhoon whacked the island nation. Up to 150 mile an hour winds were recorded near the coastlines. Damage is sure to be extensive. The system is exiting the northern regions of Taiwan now and heading for China. Should be some major rainfall associated. East Pacific storms remain stable and tracking westward. Eyes on Hawaii this weekend and into next week. Top news includes the heartbeat of the Crab Nebula. Electromagnetic shock waves emanating from a pulsar within the colorful feature 6,000 light years away. We also have results from waterworks on Mars where they're finding astounding amounts of water appearing and resulting in flow lines. They said they can barely keep track of it all. June climate report for the United States is out and it was another hot one. Just only a few areas not getting as hot during the day or dropping more than expected at night. The precipitation, however, is precisely what should be the new start to summer as climate change treks on, dry plains and a wetter desert. Website members, there are two new deeper look episodes to see and Billy says episode 55 is one of the best we've ever had. Suspiciousobservers.org. We greatly appreciate your support for these morning news and everything else we do. Just click become a member to open the door. Albuquerque, don't forget our observers brunch and hangout is tomorrow. We've got pressure and radar followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.